Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. We have square root of x plus 3x equals 6. The question is what should be the value of x? Okay, so to start with, we will make root x the subject. So we have square root of x to be equal to 6 minus 3x. Now the next step is to square both sides. Okay, and I'm squaring both sides just to remove the square root. Then I will combine this which is 6 minus 3x. Then I square this. This is going to take this out x will now be equal to 6 minus 3x in two places 6 minus 3x in two places now x here will be equal to 6 times 6 is 36 6 times minus 3x is minus 18x minus 3x times 6 is minus 18x then minus 3x times minus 3x will give us plus 9x squared. Now x here will be equal to 36 minus, okay, if I multiply, if I add this, minus 18x minus 18x will give us minus 36x, then plus 9x squared. Now let's write the one with the highest power first. 9x squared has the highest power, so I will bring it out, 9x squared, this is minus 36, I will write it out first, then this x becomes negative, if it comes to the other side, right, then what is left, I have um, 36, and it's plus 36 there, now everything equals 0 nothing on the other side 9x squared now minus 37x plus 36 is equal to 0 okay stop thinking whether you'll be able to factorize because it may not be easy now let's use factorize um, the formula method our x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a the only difficult thing about using the formula is remembering the formula right once you know the formula of hand you can solve it now our a is 9 the coefficient of x squared our b is minus 37 the coefficient of x and then our c is 36 so we will now put these values of a, b, c into the formula, right? Okay, so we have x equals, in place of minus b, I write minus, minus 37, then plus, okay, plus or minus, we have square root of minus 37, this will be squared, then minus 4 times a is 9 and c is 36. Now everything is divided by 2 times 9 because a is 9. Now x now will be negative times negative is positive. We'll now write 37 plus or minus. 37 squared is 1,369 minus 4 times 9 is 36. 36 times 36 is 1,296. Now we divide this by 2 times 9 and that is 18. Now our x will be equal to 37 plus or minus square root of 1369 minus 1296 
is 73. Then we divide this, we divide this by, by 18, okay? Okay, this is a two-in-one solution. Our x is equal to 37 plus root 73 over 18 or 37 minus root 73 over 18. And we are going to break this down so that it will be faster for us. We'll use calculator to get decimal form. 37 plus root 73 is approximately what? Okay, so 37 plus root 73 is 45.5 approximately. And then 37 minus root 73 is 28.5 approximately. Okay, so when we divided this, we got this, we divided this, we got this. So now our x is 2.5 or 1.6. But do you think these two will satisfy the equation root x plus 3x equals 6? Now let's work with the first value, which is 2.5. Okay, so here now it means I have square root of 2.5 plus 3 times 2.5. Okay, so let's simplify this and see. Um, first of all, square root of 2.5 is 1.6 plus 3 times 5 is 15. And then 3 times 2 is 6 plus that one, 7. Now, when you add this, it will not give 6. Okay, so this means that this is not equal to 6. Therefore, our x equals... Um, 2.5 is not satisfying. Now let's work with the second value which is 1.6. Now we have square root of 1.6 plus 3 times 1.6. Now square root of 1.6 is approximately 1.3 plus 3 times 6 is 18. Then 3 times 1 is one, um, 3, plus 1, we have 4, so we have 4.8. Now, let's add these two and see what we are going to have. 8 plus 3 is 11. Then 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 that we carried, we have 6.1. And this is approximately, okay, we can say that 6.1 is approximately 6. So this means that our value x equals 1.6 satisfies the equation.